Okay, so today what I'm going to be doing is resealing this window. I've already done that in the past with this window, this window, the rear window. So now it's time for this one. And the idea is, is to <coughs> remove the glass first. Once we've removed the glass, we'll undo the screws and remove the entire frame from the van. And uh, one of the first things I needed to do was obviously disconnect the latches on both sides. And now that I've done that, I should be able to go to the outside and start unscrewing it. All right, so the idea is that <coughs> you take these two end caps out and then that'll give you supposedly sufficient room to slide this out and there's a little I'm not sure if you can see it in there where it pivots and that's where it needs to slide out from all right so that slides out just like that it slides all the way out I better grab it with two hands now. Okay, the window's out. And the next thing is to undo all these screws, which is holding this frame to the van. So you can see there's quite a few of them there. Simple process, screw them one at a time, put them in a bucket so they don't get lost. We're gonna be reusing them and um, once I've done that, well, then we'll proceed to the next step. Okay, almost all the um, screws are out, except for one last one. Okay. <clears throat> right, so now that all the screws are out. The next step is to slowly pry this away from from the from the frame and this is just going to have to be a very gentle process so we don't actually damage the, uh, the cladding. Just quickly show you here um, I found the best thing to do and I'm not sure if that's the best practice or whatnot but I found that if I dig the flathead screwdriver right underneath so so therefore the end of the screwdriver is facing the frame not the cladding and then you slowly gently pry out okay and you just do that at multiple locations until you start getting that movement. You can see how it's starting to now separate from the from the frame. Okay, so we're making some progress here. Obviously many hands make light work, but now it's just a gentle there we go. Gentle persuasion to make sure we don't damage any of the cladding. And of course, with that, we don't bend the frame itself. Okay. Right, we're almost there. Okay, done. Got it here. I've got it here. Oh, you don't. Because it's, it's just stuck a the glue. Stuck it on the cloudy. But now we've got it. Okay. So this is the um, original material. Oh, that was that one's actually quite nice and pliable 
some has gone hard like this one here and once it starts going hard that's when it stops providing that protection you just have to apply that process of removing all this semi-hard adhesive people. yeah putty really not too difficult process and once we've removed that we'll um, clean it right up all right so after a bit of a long and tedious process finally managed to get the bulk of that stuff off okay so as I said just um, just gently rubbing it out um, to get the majority of it out right, uh, bucket steel wool and mineral turf should be about the uh, should be about right to apply we'll get cracking with it right so after about an hour and a half both the frame you can see all nice and clean and the window itself all cleaned up ready to apply the adhesive okay. So there's plenty of that silicon in there and yes when we do apply this onto the frame there's going to be quite a bit of excess which we'll need to clean up but I much prefer the excess knowing that it's fully sealed than to be worried about a gap so now it's almost ready to put on there so at this point in time we're just screwing using the original holes screwing these back into the window frame and I'm not actually tightening them all I'm doing is just snugging them just ever so slightly so I've got the same amount of pressure across the window and once I've done that then we can start applying tightening the screws from the middle out you can see down here we're going to have some excess already coming out which is what we thought we'd have okay, the inside of the window you can see the gap there where the sicker flex has actually come all the way through there's no way in hell that's going to be leaking okay so the um the window has been replaced or been placed in and it's now got the relevant and necessary insulation and of course now it started to rain I suppose it's just in the nick of time anyway this is how we've we've done the windows so far for the rest of the van and um, this is how I'm going to do the others so as always I hope you got something out of this and um, thanks for watching <laughs>